Today we're going to learn how to make a beautiful paper bag snowflake. To learn more, stay tuned. For this project, you're going to need nine paper bags, a pair of scissors, some white glue, you could also use hot glue if you wanted to, and something heavy to hold the paper bags down while they dry. This snowflake is going to take us a couple days, not because it's really complicated, but because it needs some time to dry in between. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue all the bags together. When you do this, you're either going to use white glue or a hot glue gun, and adult supervision, of course, and you're going to make a T shape on your bag. So a line of glue across here, and then a line of glue up. Then you're going to put your next bag on top and repeat the process. Once all your bags are glued down, put something heavy on top. Then leave it overnight. Our paper bags have had a good chance to dry. Let's take this off and see how they look. They're all stuck together, but they still feel a little bit wet. So I'm going to leave them to dry for the rest of the day, and that way I know that when I come back to cut them, they'll be super ready to go. I've come back now that my paper bags have had a chance to dry. I'm going to do a very simple pattern on this because I have lots of layers of paper bags to cut through. Remember, the bottom of the paper bag is going to be the center of your snowflake. It's going to be a large circle, so you don't want to cut out that part. That part stays together. Let's get started. You can see that my snowflake isn't the most straight at the top. That's okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a T out of white glue, just like we did with all the other pieces. Then I'm going to connect it to the piece of paper bag on the other side. This is going to make my circle. It's going to take a little bit of time to dry, so if you have a clothes peg or other clip, that might be useful to keep the sides together until they're fully dry and you can hang it. Now that my snowflake has had a chance to dry, I've put a string on it and hung it up on my door. You can hang yours wherever you like. If you make one, you can take a picture of it and upload it to our teams.